Another supplemental kit that is really applicable to a lot of people because they live in areas that get really cold to where that baseline kit isn't enough is a cold weather supplemental kit. And I say it's supplemental because, you know, it's not always cold. Like I live up in the Adirondack Mountains of upstate New York. It's cold for probably four to five months out of the year. But the other times it's, yeah, I can get away with just that bag. Um, so I'm not gonna pack this all the time and, and drag it around if I'm trying to get from point A to point B in the summertime, for example. That's just not something I'm gonna do. This would be staged in my vehicle. Uh, if I have access to that, it would be staged at home. It would be staged at my alternate bug-in location. It's not something I'm gonna carry all the time. But as we start getting closer to winter, I'm gonna switch out that baseline. I'm gonna kind of beef it up with insulating stuff. And of course, because insulating stuff is big and fluffy, you know, you kind of need a bigger bag. So I just moved to a larger Alice Ruck. Um, and then, you know, thinking about those needs again, fire doesn't change during the winter, uh, but my clothing choices change. So the first thing that I'm going to be using is some layered material. I've got a couple of different sets, uh, lightweight and heavyweight wool uh, long johns that I would put under my normal clothes, which I consider kind of my durable layer. And then, of course, a windproof waterproof layer that would be in there and hat scarf and gloves all wool that's just my preference uh, so that's kind of my upgrade to the clothing when we're talking about the core temperature control uh, fire doesn't really change uh, but as far as shelter items i can still get away with a poncho for my overhead cover but you know the poncho liner is not going to be insulative enough in really cold weather so I'd upgrade that to a three-part sleeping bag system, uh, which is basically the military sleeping bag system, the MSS, but I use kind of part of that in the Snug Pack Special Forces sleep system, uh, which consists of a pretty heavyweight bag with a lighter patrol bag that also zips inside of that bag to double it up and get even more insulation for cold weather. And this is a baffle that goes to that set that helps tie those all together. Uh, and then, you know, I go from that small bivy sack, even though I can get away with that, a lot of times I'll use a more robust, heavier weight Gore-Tex bivy sack to go with that. Uh, so if it's applicable, you have extreme cold weather like I do, you know, you need to supplement that stuff from that baseline. And I think that's an important point uh, to make. So moving on, you know, nothing changes as far as first aid. Uh, additional things that I would put in there as far as mobility and kind of part of the clothing uh, is a different pair of boots like these Solomon boots are Gore-Tex they're heavyweight I wear these in the winter time a lot of times but I don't wear them any other time you know I like a lighter weight boot for the uh, the other three seasons but in the winter time you know protecting your feet from cold weather is important so I have a, a heavier duty kind of more insulating pair of boots in this kit uh, and then last but not least is a pair of trail crampons. Um, you may be in a position or in a situation or an environment where, you know, having snowshoes in your supplemental kit is, is, is something that's appropriate. Uh, where I'm at, typically we get more of a wet snow that freezes at night. So I find that the crampon without the snowshoe is, is usually the most useful. I do, however, have snowshoes. Um, they're just not in this particular supplemental kit, uh, but I do have those available. So. If you live in an area with cold weather, understand that that baseline kit's not gonna be enough for the winter, at least, and you need to have something on standby. But again, this isn't something you need packed all the time. This is something that you supplement your baseline kit with when the weather demands that you do that uh, in the environment. And if you don't live in an area that has cold weather, then you don't need any of this. But that is a, a winter supplemental kit. But again, not on your back. It's pre-staged either at your house, at your vehicle, or at your alternate bug-in location. You only really bring it in and start applying it to you know your standby go bag whenever it's getting close to winter or it is winter.